Man, what's going on guys? In today's video, we got something a little different for y'all. Basically, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking my old beat up Air Forces and we're gonna be dyeing them in coffee. As you can see, they're already you know, yellow, brown, nasty. And honestly, coffee gonna turn them brown already. So I figured, you know what? Why not we take something that we see as garbage and make it into something that I'm finna wear, you know what I'm saying? Cause everybody know me, I like my kick. So we're gonna take these right here. We're gonna dye them in coffee and we basically just gonna change them up. I figured we should do a little fun video, do a little standstill video. So I figured, you know what? Let me hop on my comfort zone. Let's do something a little different for y'all. If you haven't already, make sure you go check out my Instagram. You know, the boy be going crazy on there. Go check out the TikTok because, you know, we're going to be posting TikToks on a daily. You know what I'm saying? We're going crazy everywhere. You're not going to be playing around. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you know every time I post it. So first things first, obviously, we're going to have to clean these up a little bit and as best as we look. So I'm going to show you how I clean my sneakers. Let's go. As y'all can see, you know, we got a, quite a couple scuffs, a little, you know, dirty, obviously. But we're going to get these right. But, yeah, let me show you what I'm going to use to clean these real quick. Literally, all I use is a brush. This brush is old as hell. Obviously, I got to get a new one. And some dish soap. You really don't need anything crazy. You don't need to buy those kits. I mean, some of those kits do work, but you really don't need all that. All you need is soap, water, and a brush. So, let's get scrubbing. So, first things first. What we want to do, take your dish soap, put a dab on the brush. I'm going to tell you, I want to show you guys a little trick. Obviously, you see how the brush is orange, right? We obviously don't want that because, believe it or not, that soap doesn't actually dye on, like, it will turn the shoe orange. So, you want to put it in the water, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you kind of go damn, kind of make it go around. Now, as you can see, it's not white now. So, I'm going to take our first shoe right here and... I'm just gonna start scrubbing. And I'm gonna show you what the best product looks like after we done. You know what? I ain't take off the laces yet, so I'm gonna do that. All right, so what we gonna need to dye the shoes, obviously we gonna need some type of coffee. Honestly, just go with whatever coffee you really wanna go to. This is almost half, more than halfway done, but I think it'll be enough to dye the shoes. If anything, I got more, but we're gonna start with this. And then you're gonna need, obviously, boiling water because hot coffee is what basically gets coffee to be, you know, coffee, right? <laughs> but we got, so we got two things of boiling water going on over here. And then lastly, you're gonna need something to store or put the shoes in. You could just like, you know, if you really wanted to, you can just submerge like the shoe with the coffee in here, but I, my pots are not big enough, so. We're gonna use this bucket right here. We're gonna dump the coffee and then the water in there. Let that, you know, mix it up a little bit. And we're gonna submerge the shoes in there. We're gonna leave it and then we're gonna see how that goes with that. Don't play with fire, kids. Okay, don't. At all. Ah, this shit's hot. Cafe Bustello, tap in with your boy, man. We could, could do a little something, little, you know what I'm saying? A little, you know what I'm saying? Coffee sponsorship, you feel me? Tap in, you feel me? I'm not gonna lie, this coffee is probably one of the, probably the best coffees probably ever made. I'm not gonna lie to you. This coffee right here is good, straight on the go. It's, it's like that. I drink this probably almost every morning to get my day started. This coffee right here. Honestly, I'm gonna make myself some coffee. I like some French vanilla creamer, so we're gonna put that in there. But let's make some coffee real quick. Yes, sir. Coffee here. Black as hell. Oh, damn! Look at me, bro. I'm over here spilling coffee and stuff, bro. I got my French vanilla creamer, so we finna just... Put some in there real quick. I want to... But I do want to give a shout out to Jake Polino. Sorry if I butchered your name wrong. Go follow him on TikTok. here at 1.7 mil. Make sure you go follow him on TikTok. He gave me the idea for this video, and he's honestly, he got a lot of crazy sneakers, and he's honestly changing the game, so y'all should definitely go tap in with him. Nah, I'm not gonna lie, this coffee is really bad. Make sure you like this video. Come on, don't just watch this video. Hit that like button. I'm gonna wait for you. I'm gonna wait till you do it. Thank you, thank you. And if you didn't like this video, still, Honestly, I really don't know what to tell you. I just a hater, I guess. 
Alright, so we're gonna be doing a little voiceover action because some of my clips and some of my audio off my clips got deleted somehow. I really don't know how this happened, but whatever. So, first things first, you wanna obviously put the coffee inside of the bucket and then you wanna put boiling water on top. Now after that, you wanna submerge both shoes in there and then keep putting in water until obviously you get it to a point where it's at the top. After that, you wanna look for something that's basically gonna keep the shoes down because obviously they're gonna keep floating. I tried many things, like I tried putting the coffee um, thing inside, it obviously didn't work. Then I put in a plate, it worked for a second, but then it floated right back up, it wasn't heavy enough. Then I found a brick outside and I put the brick in the water and this was, I think, yeah, this was the best option, so I kept the brick in there. So guys, it is currently the next day. I actually fell asleep. I don't think you're supposed to leave the shoes overnight, but I did, so whatever. It's currently 9.42 right now, so that means the sneakers was in for, I don't know, I don't, I don't feel like counting, but they were in since yesterday around like 6 o'clock. They were in for, you do the maths, so they were in for a good amount of time. So I got, obviously I had the sneakers in my room. I just moved the brick a little bit, so because I just wanted to see it. Leave a little sneak peek. As you guys can see, it's um, definitely turned a little brown. Obviously, the soles are already yellow because, you know, they're my old pair, so the soles are gonna be a different color, but let's go get these in the sink and wash these off real quick. All right, so we at the sink now, so we're just gonna dump away. Huh? Okay, so these right here are the coffee dyed pear. As you can see, you might look at them and like I said, you might think they're actually not that brown. They're actually more brown in person, but since the sole was already yellow, the sole is standing out, but I kind of like that the sole is kind of darker. But look, this is a, a semi brand new pair. And then, so you can obviously see the difference, but without this, at first glance, you probably not think, oh nah, they're not really that brown, but you can definitely see that. You see that they're brown. We're gonna have to, let these dry and then because i can't put them on feet right now because i want to do a little on feet for you guys so we're gonna let these dry and i'm gonna do a little on feet for y'all and show you what they look like with the laces put on and everything so we'll see you in a bit all right so this is what the finished product looks like it appears whiter on the camera but i promise you it's darker uh in person i also you know what i'm saying put the laces in coffee too and then obviously the sole is going to be darker since it was already yellow, so the sole is already darker. I'm going to show you what, you know what I'm saying, a white pair in this one, so you can definitely see the difference. But like I said, without, it does not look as different as you think, but you, there's definitely a difference. Um, I'm going to try to get the best I can because honestly, it doesn't look as, you know, as good on here. But I'm going to try the best I can is to get some, you know, some little B-roll action for you. section below and you let me know what you want me to do next to a sneaker whether it be i was thinking about doing them in kool-aid dye shoes in kool-aid and let me know if i want to do them kool-aid orange soda just regular dye you just let me know what you want me to do experiment i'm down for it because i love these fun videos and i'm also i actually want to actually give away let me pick them up real quick i actually want to probably give away these shoes to anybody to be honest i give them out for free so I'm gonna do a little giveaway. I'm gonna definitely put the instructions down or whatever. Their size, nah, but I probably do giveaway instructions and we'll see like the, you know, how we, how you can enter it or whatever. I'll probably, maybe I'll do two pairs. Um, One is gonna be a size nine and one will be just whoever wins it. You tell me your size and I'll do a brand new pair for you. So, I, you know, I just wanna give back to you guys cause you know, y'all have been showing me love, but 
make sure you please, please, man, please don't just watch this video. If you've made it this far, please go hit that subscribe button, like the video, turn on post notifications, do all that, and comment down below, man, if you really like this video. All right, man, so I love y'all, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.